<laughs> Bonjour, hi, welcome to the stream. Just jump out of the, the rocket, you know. <laughs> welcome to my playground, the cloud. Welcome, cloudies. Happy to see you here. We started a little bit late today because I had some technical issue, as I will explain in a few minutes. I'm Frank Boucher. I'm a Microsoft Cloud Advocate. And for the next two hour and a half, maybe three hours today, we'll see how it goes, uh, we'll be learning JavaScript node uh, having some fun, we're building a chatbot and slash virtual co-host for me uh, since it's tracking a lot of information from you. Uh, and yeah, and today I start a little bit late because I changed, I had a new monitor, my monitor Bonjour. that I ordered Hi. June the 6th. Hey Mark, welcome to the stream. I ordered a new monitor June 6th. And it arrived yesterday. I ordered it twice because it got bumped out and it was shipped on a wrong address twice. Anyway, now it's here. 4K monitor, like just 27 inch, not like crazy, not curved, just like butt on uh, arm. So that's cool. So I took my other biggest monitor. Doesn't support an arm, so I but some kind of adapter looks like uh, two fingers on top and on the side so I could move it I cannot move it like this otherwise the monitor will fall it's not it's nice I could so project of the weekend cleaning up the desk and maybe I will try to restructure a little bit my office because yeah and I try also to fix I don't know if it's still doing I had people and Microsoft that was telling me that my camera was lagging I was losing frame so I tried to fix that I'm looking very I don't like like I'm how I'm looking in that screen I think I'm good so I did that a little bit yesterday but I was tired and I still I have a new camera that I arrive so I wanted to switch it because it's a little bit uh, oh yeah, but I can't, I think. Not sure I can use it. So anyway, a few things I need to check. But, welcome to the stream, happy to see you. Oh, Fragbird, no. Yeah, Fragbird is here too. Awesome. Where, where? I see, hello Fragbird, but I didn't see Fragbird. Oh yeah, even did a drop. Did you land, Fragbird? There is no shuttering. It's definitely not... I framed is it low it's bad the quality yeah it's maybe hard because of the the moving background what if I put the not moving background it's not really great huh Need to fix that. I need to. There's some config I don't understand. Uh, let's recap quickly the chat. So there's uh, there's no shuttering. It's definitely not high framed. Cool. All meaning like when you say uh, TBD gamer that uh, it's definitely not high frame. It you you think I'm on target? It's good. I think I should be like I think that between the camera and the PC they talk to each other at uh, 60 frame by second I think in 1080 uh, and then I should be broadcasting 1080 I'm not like the camera can do 4k but I think I, I, do, I don't do that so you know just like less work for like uh, Elgato and everything else down the pipeline because at the end I just do 1080 anyway Okay, so let's have a look. So, hello, Blackbird, hello. Yeah, I land back to work and lurk for me. Okay, see you uh, later, <laughs> Blackbird. Thanks to uh, for being there. It might. It might. The scene. 
yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I will, I will, uh, like, I will go smaller. <laughs> so, yeah. So, 12 down. That's, that's cool. New followers right away at the beginning. That's awesome. Let's go half and half. Just like that. More comfortable for me. And I'm assuming for you too. So, new follower. So, that's cool. That's need to be bigger. Uh, I know now CB, the, the cloud bot, is tracking the new followers. We fixed that. But uh, I have no output yet, so <laughs> I need to track that manually. Um, bonjour, Marc. Yeah, I already said that. I'm trying to recap the. So, Michael, the, are you using OBS Studio? Uh, so, for this stream, I'm using. I'm, like I was streaming on multiple different platform. This is where I learn stuff. So when I started, uh, Streamlab OBS um, felt easier because you have a bunch of teams. It was definitely more easier to jump in. Now, I think right now the easiest, if you want to host the content on your PC, is the Twitch. And if it's on your, you want to stream on Twitch, Twitch, they have now a client. And like it's, I think the easiest to stream on Twitch if you want to host it on your PC. So, anyway, when I start today, I'm using Streamlab OBS. When I'm streaming on uh, YouTube or when I'm streaming on the um, Microsoft Developer Channel, I am using OBS Studio. I want to migrate everything at OBS Studio and I want to have a two PC setup because I have a PC that is super performant that I could use to that, but just. There's a thing called time and a divide the day in 24 hours and you, you cannot have more. I tried to put more, but like it doesn't work. Any, if anyone have a tricks to, but for me it didn't work. Anyway, death is okay. Thank you everybody. Thank you for your patience and your feedback. It's appreciated. So, the plan of today, the plan of today is to work on the chatbot. My resolution is so tiny on that uh, new screen. So I want to work today. I want to work on the, um, the chatbot. Where is it? Profile. Hello. Okay. And it's funny how, like, because. I have some project inside the Microsoft. They don't show up here, so it look like super boring. And if I sign on, then uh, yep. If I sign on, then oh no, it's not more green. I thought it was more green than that. Anyway. I've been working on projects that are not on main, so they don't count. Uh, I want to work today on the cloud bot. And, uh, like, for me, I need to uh, add more stuff so I could generate the notes. But I think for you, uh, what could be interesting is if we add a sound effect. So if I play sounds, then you will have uh, the power of. Uh, grabbing my attention and do a lot of noise. So I think today we should try to just play some uh, MP3 or something like that. What do you think? Sounds like a good plan. I'm not sure if it, if it was even, I didn't start anything. Uh, let's start, get cracking to have our boards. I should start my zoom tool since I always complain it's not started. I should go full screen. Huh. Okay, I just go a little, little bit tinier, not not a lot. So and the boards. I don't think we add a board uh, a task. We need to clean up a few tasks also. Um like Score and credits, no, that's not happening. Okay, 
and they are in Venex. That's why they are still there. Then we need to add the label Venex. Manage label. Add a label. In VNX. Cool. Because I was looking at the, the board from GitHub yesterday and I was like, why oh, it's still there? So now I understand. Now I understand. Does the music is too loud? I think it is. Like that should be better. Can you still hear can you still hear the music? There's a way to uh There's a way to uh It sounds better. Whoop. Okay. So today Press build, yeah, so we we'll still want to work on that, but let's add a little bit of fun for you. Score in the credits, no. Oh, there's a thing I fixed. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where is, like, keep closing that thing. So, if I do scores now, uh, I fix that. So, if I do score, that's cool, right? Uh, I finished that. Um, offline so uh, I need to show you that how I did it it's not super clean you cannot do really a weight in JavaScript I think so I just kind of uh, delay the call of the function instead of waiting between the call I don't know like I will show you like I'm not I don't like very much in my mind I was like I would like to loop through and say okay you know, display the first one, wait a second, display the second one, and instead what I do is display the first one in one second, and then display the second one in two seconds, and the third one in three seconds. I like it, it runs super fast, kind of projecting when it will call the delegate. Not sure if it's the good way to do it in JavaScript, but we're learning. And also, it show now in order. It was displayed from, uh, I don't know, I think it's the lowest first and then like bigger, 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 bigger. Yeah, and I was hoping to change the color, but it didn't work. Anyway, uh, okay, so, to do. Uh, but, uh, but should store each player, yeah, that's done, right? The but should keep track of each player I score and date time when it was going, oh, that I didn't do. Okay. Maybe we will need to, uh, maybe we will need to, uh, to have a database. Okay, biggest loser. I think I'm not saving that. per stream and, and reset this by stream credit optional yeah that's not save lobe from database uh, did I put some uh, fauna yeah I put the things score in the credits uh, I don't know how to inject that but uh, let's keep that for now like maybe it's a low priority though so celebrating players beating their own ice wall that's done as mentioned in number four I don't know where is number four oh that okay each score um, so if they beat the all score blah 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 kind of animation sound celebration so that's done
if you beat your own score, uh, like, it's not great the party <laughs> right now, there's no sound, but uh, CB should appear and uh, do a little dance on the top. So that's done, it is in in VNX, so let's do a VNX. You like my board? Uh, it's Git Kraken. I love Git Kraken. I'm a Git Kraken ambassador. Uh, what you could do, go is, if you want to try it, use my referral. It's this. I think Git. Let me double check first. I don't want to send you on a wrong. If you do that, use my Git Kraken uh, referral. It uh, they give away one hundred dollars uh, Amazon gift cards. Uh, you could use it for free if you're uh, on open source project. If you are students, there's pro license for very cheap, and it includes the um, a Git UI. There's the boards and there's timeline. That are pretty cool too. Uh, and for me, to be super honest, since I said it was uh, referral links, um, it gives me also, I think, a chance to... Uh, I'm not sure if that... I think it's for you, you will have like a 100 bucks. I might be also in the box, but if I win anything from them, I just give it away back to the channel. And um, also, uh, if ever you go for a pro, then I have some points. And with the points, I can buy swag, like stickers, t-shirt, and stuff like that. And I just stack them. Now I have a bunch of t-shirt and stickers, and as soon as I can travel again, or maybe I will do some competition. I'm super close of uh, 500 followers, so maybe once I have 500, I will do a kind of a giveaway or something like that. So uh, yeah, like everything go back to you anyway. I like the swag or you like the swag, <laughs> TBD Gamer. I, oh yeah, it's true. So um, because of that, uh, that uh, riffle thing, uh, one of um, the viewer here, Copper Birdie, win the Nintendo Switch. I win it too. But uh, I didn't keep it. So uh, a very nice kid that someone I know <laughs> had a legendary Nintendo Switch from Get Kraken. I already had one. So that's why I didn't keep it. So I, I give it back. For me, it was complicated because the Switch... It's complicated because some people are see th bad things everywhere. Um, I was super happy for um, Copper Birdie to win. I was happy, super happy and thrill, and it, the, the Switch looked awesome. But it was for traveling, and I didn't want to... As a Microsoft, I don't want like see like oh yeah I get cracking micro like you know so I said you know what I'll just keep that's why I don't put anything on my my Nintendo Switch and I say I pay that that one and everything but yeah and like you know what I didn't play and the Switch I bought it for traveling and since I'm not traveling like all of you I'm assuming um, I I didn't play much I don't play much period I was playing a lot these days, like not a lot. I was playing maybe two, three nights, like say uh, two hours, one hour session of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And then I stopped and I'm not playing anymore. But I'm, I did a, lot, a big progress in my Netflix uh, to watch shows. Yeah, you told me that, the game collection. Long time ago, I was building something like that for comics. And I uh, found some application that was useful, that already exists. 
and then they turn out to be i think you need to pay and i like so and i now i don't read comics that much anymore so i like what i'm doing i don't know oh yeah fallout <laughs> that's cool i play fallout which fallout did i play I only played one Fallout. Fallout 3? 4? The first one that was kind of nice on uh, 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 Steam. I think I played that one. I didn't finish, like I'm close to the end, but uh, it's super hard and like I miss stuff and so I stopped playing. Each to their own, I suppose, Michael. Huh? What? Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. I've been not like I like this. Like the problem with like those big game. I love them because you could like oh i have 20 minutes tonight or like uh or you know you need to sleep well that night because you have something being the the next night so you don't want to go to the bed super stressed so what i like about those games you could say oh you know what tonight i'm just chilling and do little things or stuff like that like red De in red Dead Redemption. or if you say okay i have a strong two hours solid two hours i can play let's go fight that you know hideout or bus or what that do that big mission kind of thing that's what I like about those games. But um, these days, I'm not playing a lot. I did try uh, Animal Crossing and, and stuff. I, I was kind of heavy on it for a few days slash weeks. Then I kind of lost interest, I don't know. So I'll probably try to sell my my game. Um, okay, so that one was seller say result in. Save the result in a file or a database. Well, that's that's done. There were some repetition in this stuff. I have an option to display. Well, that's also done. I have an option to display the information in some ball toaster notification. That's done. Oh, I hate myself when I do that. Phoenix, boom, and I want to remove now the, put a filter, let's remove the filter. Okay, so now let's move, maybe Vnex was not a good color, the green, yeah, you know what, let's move that, I think I will change Vnex and purple, like you know, kind of twitch like. It looked like the two others. What we didn't use orange, yeah, that, that's kind of orange. Red was not taken, right? Boom, cool. Haha, -ha, now it's why. Okay. So Michael, jo Michael says, uh, it's pretty a good game now, but they definitely have changed things. Like now you can play on server, never the same server, unless you get Fallout first. Okay, which other random player, so you know, nah. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, so 65 has been out for two years. So what's like, I think they can't like, I lost track of, of all those, uh, those things. Oh, this is cool. I had a um, happy hour this week with the, uh, the team of uh, Get Kraken and they talked about that, uh, that stuff like collapsible. This is so cool. Boom. This is awesome. I love those boards. And by the way, like, 
I'm creating that board, but it's sync with the issue in GitHub. So if we go in issue, issues, sorry, in GitHub, see now there's the VNEX, it's there, everything is there. So it's super synchronized. And even better, if you go inside the, like the, the root of the page, uh, I didn't put it. Oh, I didn't put the URL, but um, this board should be public. So you should be able to add to read because I didn't share. So my point was if someone in the project I work on is like really into it and like just not just creating issues but like pushing codes on something like that i will add them to the board so they could take things and move them out but uh, right now i didn't do any anything like that and now it like if for example uh so uh, sorry I, I i'm answering but not reading so my cold said uh, I'm definitely going to try Git Kraken. It looks a lot nicer than Trello. I use your link, by the way. Excellent. Good for you. I hope you win the uh, uh, gift card. Uh, a thing I also like is there's some automation. So, and if your team use Trello and stuff like that, there's some kind of connection right now. I'm not using Trello, uh, so. And there's integration with uh, Jira and like bunch of other stuff. And there's automation now. So when you move things, uh, like it could be auto flag or stuff like that. There, there are some kind of automation. I didn't play much with that yet. But uh, yeah, the team is fantastic. Honestly, the support, everything of that team, like they do. I'm not saying everything is perfect, but I'm saying like they do the thing the right way. You want to make a recipe management app with Blazor sometime soon, so maybe I will start. Yeah, yeah. Cool, and you know what? Share me the link. And uh, well, like your GitHub, if you're doing it on, on GitHub, and uh, maybe uh, I could work on that. I will be happy. Could, that could be cool. And we could have uh, April <laughs> having her uh, interface, maybe plug on that. Okay. I did that not just to show you uh, the board because I wanted to do, oh yeah, add play sound. Uh, add sound effect. Um, label, so that will be, ah, uh, will be, that's claim. No, I don't need claim. I will assign it right away. It's an enhancement. And um, yeah, that's it. Add description. Um, we want to be able to play sounds i'm assuming it will be mp3 file hopefully mp3 files uh with commands that sounds about right and let's assign it to me boom voila excellent so now it's in progress uh, let's go in the board here. Oh yeah, there's one thing though. The only thing, oh yeah, and I complain about that, it's just that the numbers don't match. That's very unfortunate. So like if I go in board, that thing is called CB21. And if I go here, It's 17 because I could go say create a branch for this card. Oh, 
Oops, let's go. Oh, I should open the project. I didn't open the project. Uh, it's so tiny. My resolution is so tiny now. So I need to take this I want to um, discard the changes, go in VNX. What? Okay, I'm not in a good one. I was like, what? what's happening? Oh, I closed it. <sighs> well, I'm confused this morning. Come on, Cloudbot. Yeah, like what? Like what's that shit? So let's open Notepad. Just drop this there. Oh yeah, because the chat is running. Kind of an issue. Uh, welcome, thank you for the following, Mustafa. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what do we do? I could stop. Okay, I will save the stream, stop this, the, the chat bot, and reload it after we change branch. Yeah, I will do that. So for a few seconds, if you play, you will too bad for you. But you're, since you're not the big player this morning or today, that shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, so we'll close this. Voila. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, GT Sum. Saw what you did there, but I. I warn you, so save, that I save, switch here, stopping the, the thing, boom. So if you land, it's just sad for you, and he lands. <laughs> well, sucks to be you. Conflict. Okay, so let's go in V next. There it is. Cool. So now let's restart it. Let's reload it. And now if I do scores, you have your scores in the top. Excellent. Oh, but I wonder now if I do. Um, oh no, and I. Yeah, I want to do a new branch. Huh. So, can I create a branch and make it. It was 21, I think, right?
I am here. Like, secret shouldn't be showing up. Oh man. Delete that branch, and of course, it doesn't want to. Okay. Well, let's stop it again. Oh, because I'm checked out. Like, why? I don't understand, I don't understand. I thought VNX was the mostly 27 days ago. So main is the uh, oops, and I just dropped few, I just deleted few stuff. I hate myself. Five days ago. Well, apparently main is the good one. And like the tree, that's what the tree showed me. Ah, damn it. Okay, so let's delete that thing again. In progress what was in progress so we need to update this so that's our backup we need the session Voila, so now the session is loaded, so now let's restart it. Cool, so now it's restart. So now I could do a load. Okay, so now it's loaded. Yeah, Michael, you have an Azure, so Mike, Michael has a question. So, hey, Frank, I have an Azure related question. I have an existing personal account and I would like to spin up a simple instance of a SQL Server. Do you have a recommendation on creating an instance of SQL Server that doesn't count, that doesn't catch too much? I would say. Uh, you could, okay. You can apply. Yes, you can apply. I would definitely say um, instead of creating a VM, go with the uh, as a service. That would be cheaper. Set it as a dev test. That would be even more cheaper. Uh, and uh, that would be my recommendation. Instead of creating a VM, just go as a service. So if we go in the Azure portal. go in my personal account I 
Hello? Come on. I was doing something similar yesterday or like Wednesday when I tried to connect with my Microsoft account. That's not normal. That's weird. Okay, so you are here. What you want to do is create a resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have the little thing open? Uh, and then you want to go database and you could create an SQL database here. So you could create, a, let's say, to, to delete. A resource group is just a logical group. So you could put whatever you want, database name, uh, server. So that's the name of your server. Uh, don't, don't use elastic pool. Um, Test uh, server, nothing available. I'll create a new. And uh, after that, you will you will be able. Ah, oh, well, like why? Frank, and then. Um, Okay, so let's assume it's an East US. So now we'll be able to configure. So right now it is using Gen 5 vCore this. So maybe I, I could go smaller. So what you could do now is uh, you could go here, I think, basic. And that's six K Canadian dollar by month. Well, that should be enough just to play. With the basic. I thought they had the, some dev tests. Maybe that's the Oh yeah, the serverless, I never tried that. There's also another one, it's true. Like you could play with the configuration, but uh, going with a server instead of a VM, or like a service instead of a VM, you will save money. Though the VM, if you shut it down after each, like when you're not using it, um, like since you're building stuff, I'm assuming like you don't need it all up all the time so if you shut down the VM the cost will be lower a lot since you will only be paying for the storage and storage usually is about 10 Canadian cents by gig by month uh, and at, when it's so like at the end of the month let's say you are you work a few day a few hours let's say one or two hours every day at the end of the month it may cost you five bucks also but then like you need to turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off this one will just like 
you keep it up and that's it cool like ping me uh, on Twitter like you can ping me on discord I have the discord it it, oh it's not showing up oh interesting headers Still miss some um, I need to redo my uh, my stuff so yeah the discord is over there I'm not good at uh, participating in the Discord, but uh, when people reach out, I, I reach out. But uh, I'm, I'm, I need to be better. I'm not very good at uh, being active in Discord. But uh, if you ping me on Twitter or LinkedIn, I will, I will answer you. Or Discord, whatever. Just ping me, I will answer. Okay, so that's your code. And hopefully we didn't lose anything critical. So what I want to do is play some JavaScript. So we'll do a new command. We'll do um, what do I have for sounds? Do I have any sounds? Media. I don't have any. So we need sounds. Uh, I think I had in the previous version. Oh, it's tiny. Uh, in the dev, GitHub, Epouche. I have an mp4 I thought I had an M so I don't so we need an mp3 so do I have an mp3 I have since I can play stuff where did I put them uh, let's go where the hell did I put that here sounds Yay! that could be a good one right that would be your first then later on we'll have more okay so we have our mp3 so the command will be yay. So load sage test. Testing one, two, three. What's testing one, two, three? What the hell is testing one, two, three? Does it exist? Yeah. I'm posting hello. And I will be calling which one? Hello. So in the uh, in the index that Jason, do I have a hello? Hello. Oh, 
Oh, okay, just reply my name. Okay, I, w I was playing with the chat, I think. Okay, you know what, so... I don't need that anymore. Maybe we should use Tess. Hello could go away. Why do I need that? I will keep that. Okay, let's let's do a yay function then. So in the index.html, let's add another one. And it will be for everyone. And it will be yay. sound and then we'll need to pass the string should we just do play sound or something like let's let's do it like this for now so now we need a function play sound so that will be in the cloudbot function right here so we need a play sound and it's equal to a function and we receive the file name file name as a parameter now we just need to uh, just need to play find how to play sounds so Michael said, if I remember correctly, I think you were trying to figure out the part where you can... Yeah. I think it was my first loop going through the server and coming back. So I will keep it because I want to have more stuff. I think a general function would be nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, should I say node node GS play MP three? Yeah, that's a player. I don't want a player. In line nine line of code FS a speaker pipe just like that I'm writing an application that I is supposed to build sequences, output short and pretty word, blah, blah, blah. MP3 player. Before we use it, maybe we need uh, to look to the speaker package. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. Yep, totally agree. Um, so is it npm.org? Where do you see the packages? Oh, 
Oh, NPM GS. <laughs> Look like it's exactly what I want to do. what's lame Probably right. Hey, Clark, you are we? So, is it better now? I did try to fix it. And I screw up everything. Spend like uh, the first 30 minutes of my stream fixing the camera. <laughs> I hope it's better. Bonjour. Hi. Hey, Coldwood Chan. Hello. Bonjour. Oh, maybe you know Clarkio because you do that in, uh, on your stream. Uh... Why didn't it work? Maybe there's a cooldown. I used the uh, Streamlab chatbot for uh, the sound effect for Bonjour. And there's also another one for... I have a bad feeling about that. I think it's just bad feeling. <laughs> Bonjour! <laughs> Try again. I'll I'll go. You know what? Let's go. Commands. Yeah, there's a cooldown of one. One minute. Uh, zero wind. Should be fixed. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about that. Me too. <laughs> du, du, du. <laughs> so we're trying to add sound so we get rid of that other butt and we'll do our own S H I T exclamation point uh, yeah like although here that look a little bit more legit maybe let's look that one whoops So what are you asking me about? Okay, I want to play sound. So I think I found it. I think it's just this. Yes. So uh, we start creating a new command in the butt called 
play sound. Then when you play, uh, no, it was yay, I think, the command, right? Yeah, the command is yay. So now that when you will type yay, we'll play a play, like that's our first one. So eventually we'll have more, but for now we're just doing that one. And I'm looking on how to play sound, but I think that looked kind of very cool. Why it keep zooming out? Why it keeps zooming out? Really, really annoying. You are annoying me. Why are you annoying me? I'll put all them. I'm assuming I do new tab when I'm on like a non zoom window. Uh, I switch mine from Node.js to client side. Really? Yeah, you told. I think you mentioned you were moving that. Why did you do that? Client side. So, a JavaScript instead of Node? Because I did try to play video and it didn't work well. <laughs> but uh, I could play sound. I could play. Uh, JavaScript play sound. Really? Node was less stable? Just like that. Audio? That exists? Really? Just... That sounds way too easy. Why did I wait it all that time? Yeah, yeah, but like... <laughs> of course. Of course, Clarkio. Not, not Node. But, uh, okay, which... did Were you using the Odic library? Here, that one? Do you, you, on top of your mind, do you like, don't go search and dig into your code, but do you remember which library you are using? Well, JavaScript and, ja and Node.js, like both are JavaScript, so they are web. Okay, anyway, so there's few things. So here I could try to, I try a different library and I recall being play sound. Okay, why? Nick, Odi, 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 was sound simple. Well, we, we can try this one. So we want to play this. Though, I, I think one thing we'll need to add the file in uh, here. We had the public folder. So it should be there, right? Yeah, a mapping. Yeah, it should be there. So I don't even need anything on that side, so it will be here. Just need to do that. Uh, here I could do What could I do? Could do local O slash three thousand. And now 
if I do yeah Uh, so it didn't find my, does it need to be, does it need to be like a URL? When I in the path, you mean? Yeah, but like one thing I want to do is I want to check. See here, I have the public image media, so I will do the same for uh, for here. Now it restarts. Should move that in the step one. Uh, okay, so let's refresh, put back the console, refresh. Okay, so now if I do yeah. So localhost public media not found. But it's the same folder. But uh, I have that uh, like every time it restart, every time I save stuff, and it is in the same. Like I, you know, let's rename that thing Ye instead. See now if I look. Oh, it didn't. Did I? Did it? I don't know how to speak French because I'm speaking English. So why?
why did it restart? Isn't it supposed to restart every time I save something? But I didn't change the code. Maybe I need to, uh, because I had the image after, so let's do this and let's do a start. Uh, and now let's do a load. Okay, so it's load. And now if I do a yay, though I need to refresh this guy. That's a PNG. Oh, damn it. I didn't put it at a good spot. <laughs> I didn't put it in a good place. Media. Remove. SRC. Public. Media. So it doesn't like it because I need to interact with, so I need a button. I don't want a button. So Brave is asking, so is there a way to access the USB mouse internal program software? Like the frameware, I mean, I think my Chinese mouse has a malware. It keeps right clicking. Well, uh, um, you could try to change the battery. Or uh, I had some issues like that with uh, my Logitech. So like it just the contact were uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know what's the word for that. Like I needed to clean the, the contacts and I forgot the name in English, sorry. But oxided, oxided, and um, it was bad. Okay, so we have the same pro. Right. Thank you for following Lucy Fering, Lucy Free Ram MJ. Well, sorry, butchering your name. Lucifer, Lucifer, welcome to the stream. We're having fun trying to do some stuff with Node or JavaScript since I'm kind of learning both. At the same time, and it's for me just uh, instead of me dating, I do this. I stream less stressful, you know, do, you know, do things you don't know about in front of people. Okay, so apparently play doesn't work because we need to interact. Like having this little button. Uh, you don't need the me. You could put an emote if you want uh, code with Sean. Just drop is good. Okay, so I could define some audio and then play them. With the security environment and the music must enter the web page, will be allowed this to do it. Based on the remote, define the audio, have a start game button with a click. Uh, how did you manage to work around that problem? Um, Uh, Clark Hill, if he's still there. What? Back had a meeting. Oh. Drop it in the dragon. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm here. 
Um, yeah, how, how do you manage to uh, multitasking? Yeah, I agree. Like looking Frank, looking Frank, learning node. There's stuff more interesting than that. Uh, how did you manage? Because I did have, I, so now it's working. My problem with the file was in the wrong folder. Yeah. Uh, but now it says I have an error because I need to have like a button. I need to interact with the interface. Same kind of issue we had when we tried to play a MP4. So how did you work around that thing? F playing sound without interacting with the, the page. I'm still here because... Interesting. <laughs> I don't, don't... I don't doubt. I just, I know like it's, you know... It's very entry level, but that's fine. Like I'm happy to do it anyway. Like, <laughs> and I think it's fun. I think you know, JavaScript is kind of cool. So how do you play sound without doing a button? Where do you put that flag? Where do you put that flag autoplay policy? Because it was the same thing with the MP4. Oh, it's when you start Chrome. Interesting. More for testing, like if I click the page. Anyone want to do a yeah? Yeah. I click the page, but uh, with an H, yeah, with an H. Is it the proper way to... Yay! So it's working. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. So now... How do that in my overlay? I cannot click on that page, right? But I'm done testing now, the sounds play. <laughs> When you're running in the bone mode, no, no, the exclamation point, no space, Lucifer, just exclamation point. I believe OBS browser source doesn't need anything. Really, you think? Let's try that. Uh, let's 
double click here and just do a refresh. Done. Now I will close this. Yep. Tab R close. Yay! Oh, it's working. Party time. So I could play sounds that you don't have. Yay! <laughs> fantastic! Oh, fantastic! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Clark. You. Awesome. So now I will be able to add more. Let's. It's flickering. I will be able to add more stuff in it. Yeah. So party time. So now we'll be able to add sounds. Oh, this is that was much easier than I thought. <laughs> Why? It's always the case. I always think it will be super complicated and then like Yay! super easy. Yay, JavaScript is easy. I just need to do gift, animated, animated gift. But uh, oh, I need to find it back. I, I did, I was working, okay, long, long, long time ago. Let's go uh, full screen. Long, long time ago, when I was no white hair, yes, yet, and not married and no kid and everything. I was, uh, I was, I, I, I like it flash animation and stuff like that. And I was uh, renting an apartment and, and uh, my, uh, the owner of the building was a graphist. So he was doing a bunch of uh, Adobe, um, uh, AI, what's the, whatever, like the, not Photoshop, but the one that are uh, vector, vectorial. I, mean, I think it's, I forgot the name of that app. Anyway, and it was giving that to me and I was making them moving. So I was doing a lot of animation and stuff, but I was also drawing a lot. Uh, at that time, even I did some t-shirt for a company and stuff like that. And uh, at one point, my girlfriend, that is now my wife, uh, wanted to have a nice website. So I built a website and on it, I did a box that was kind of a present. And when you click on that, oh, I think it was, I think I made it automatically. Uh, the box was opening and she was just going out of the box like a... Uh, how, do you, how do you call that in English? Like the Jack of, is it Illustrator? AI? Vectorial, vector. This one. Oh, Illustrator, yeah, okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, and she was doing wee. I need to find it back. But uh, I need to do animation because I did some animation with, uh, like if I do cloud, oh, I need to go back in this window. If I do cloud and CB is showing up, that's very sad gift. And also the background is, is white. Uh, is black, I mean, so I need transparent. So uh, I think I could do it in uh, DaVinci Resolve. Otherwise, I will buy the new app. So I think what used to be called Flash is now called Animation. So I will do that instead. Jack, Jack in the Box. Yes, she was a uh, Jack in the Box popping out. And I did that, and it was funny. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I have it somewhere. But uh, yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so um, that's super cool. So now uh, if <sighs> see, I would like to have some kind of uh, an inim define an imminent so here instead it could say like sounds dot yay 
and I could use it here and I could eat everywhere. So I would like to do that. Do we, do we have some kind of enum in JavaScript? to implement that. And I like I don't like the object even like uh, when I was building my object. Oh, I, I never show you how I uh, I did the uh, the scores thing. Oh, and of course I reload, so now I need to load. Now if I do score... Okay, now they are displaying. I need to make that bigger, but also I want to show you how I did it. So, um, because I don't like the way I did it, I was hoping to have some kind of... Uh, like an object and inside the object a function or a sort but damn like it looks so complicated in JavaScript so let me show you how I did it so we were working on it so I'm assuming it's inside CloudBot and yeah so we have the stream session and inside the stream session I want to display the scores. So I want to display the user session and inside I want to have the score. So I needed to create a function called compare i scores because when you are using like I want to sort you by your score. So that's why I needed this. So this thing is called here. So when I call scores, now let's zoom. So now I, when I call scores, now I'm sorting the user. And it took me a while because in my mind I was like, just like, yeah, I would like to do session, user session, like display or like sort them or whatever. But I need to have to call compare score. That's cool because maybe at another point I would like to display the person and like how long they have been followers or how long like you know like different ways. So I'm fine with that but I would like to have that function part of my object but yeah no like you, you, you could and like private maybe. So instead of here like it could be user session display uh by score or something like that but yeah no so i need to have that declare outside and then pass it and then sort it and then i did this part it took me a while it's not super clean i'm i'm just not sure how it's supposed to be done in javascript like the proper way so like I told you I was expecting to do something like display the first one wait what a second display the second one wait a second and do like that and instead what I do is JavaScript doesn't wait so just like so what I do is I set it I execute all of them in the loop but then I said oh like start that one in a second start that one in two seconds start that one in three seconds and, and that's why they display one by one i don't like that but that's the best i found right now so there's probably a better way to do that but that's how i did it so like you know the set timeout here that's my weight 
So when it's like after the first time, it's immediately, and after that, it will be one, and this is a thousand millisecond. So it will wait and then call display notification, and it just does. So that's how I did it. So now we have that. So, um, cool. So now high score party Claudier and play sound and see now this is sad because now I need to remember every time instead of doing like something something so I will do that right now and the indexed and let's right away create a kind of an enum I'm not sure it's the best way to do it how I want to do it but Oh yeah, you think, uh, my, Michael? I'm I, like I I hit it correctly. Well, I need a way also to structure the code. Like right now, it's just everything is just like in one. Don't really like that. Okay, so I want a class that will be named uh, sound effect, maybe. In him. Sound in them, sound effect in them, sounds in them. Oh no, it's a variable, I don't need a class. Yeah. Something like that. So it could be a, like this. And I will say, let's say, yeah, will be equal, uh, boom. And I could do more of them. So let's do a bonjour, hi. Let's do Let's do bad feeling. I will need to find more. You know, I think I will need suggestions from you. What kind of what kind of things you want to tell me? Bad feelings. Right, so now in a 
let's 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 do this here so now here i could do sound in them it's not there huh? Okay, as an object, so here it was creating this and equal to an object. do this so I click on the page and now if I try yay I should show this first yay! okay the sound is not defined So the sound is not defined. So 
then I will need a class. So if I need a class, I will make it like this, right? And then I just do to do it in the constructor constructor maybe Should do a let. Voila. So now here. Why don't you sign in? Because I don't, I don't, so I didn't need that. You need to export it. I don't understand what's exported mean. Sorry guys. What's exported? I created variables. Like shouldn't be enough. Like stream session is accessible. So why? Oh, is it? Exporting it allow you for importing it from another file. Ah. Okay. How do I export it slash import it? Like here? But it's there. I need to restart my my thing. That's me not understanding what I need to do. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Like what? Export? I understand the word export guy. It's just like like how do I export a file? What? <laughs> export uh javascript 
variables. Export counts. Oh, really? What's that word? Okay, I need export JavaScript. Export. Why you keep going back to 100%? So export and import. Uh, export and import directive as several, okay. Uh, export the function. So we can label any declaration as exported by placing an export before it. Be it variable, function, or class, okay. Fine. I'll oh, see that there's. Um, no semicolons. So I will need to import it on the other side. Okay, um, where I was, I was here. So I do here uh, export like that. So now I need to import it. If I want to use it, just like something like uh, hot light. Do I still need to do the the new? Why can't I do the new on the other side? Then, and stream session, then I should have done that. Though stream session doesn't work on the other side. This thing will be on both sides. So then, that will do. Unexpected token export. Thanks for the following, Roberto. Welcome aboard. Welcome. We're having fun learning JavaScript slash Node today. It's Friday, so you know, I like to do things a little bit different. We're building a cloud, but it's not a cloud yet. Like it's just shape as a cloud. If I do cloud, we'll, you'll be able to, to see CB, CB for CloudBot. He's tracking, uh, tracking, keeping tracks of your I score. So if you do exclamation point drop, you will be parachuted in the, uh, the screen. Uh, that's a game that I didn't code. That was InstaFluff, but uh, you will be dropping and then uh, the CB keep track of all the scores. You could see your statistics by doing the command exclamation point stats. And uh, like right now it's collecting a lot of information because I want to maintain that file here where I have all my notes. So 
CB will be collecting all that information, answering your question, and pushing that to GitHub at the end of the stream. But for now, we're just at the beginning, and today we just we just learned that playing a sound in JavaScript is kind of really easy. Uh, so we did that, and now we're just trying to have something a little bit more cleaner in the code. So I'm learning how to do an enum and exporting and importing and it's not working and uh, yeah so export counts okay so I'm, I'm back to uh, it's not a class like this so I don't need this anymore what a switch keyboard at one point So now instead of semicolon, it will need a comma. No, I could do could do this, right? Okay, and now if we go here, and where is it? Ah, it's here. Okay, dot. Still not there. I'm not sure this is. <laughs> So could I do some like Yeah. This is like constructor is not it's not there. Whoop. Fun fun player! Welcome to the stream! Welcome! It's Friday stream, having fun! Just playing today with JavaScript. Try to make sense of it. I'm a C sharp developer, so that's why you find me struggling so much. <laughs> We're building a chatbot to keep track of our score. Like that so when you play that little game it will keep if you land keeps track of your statistics if you do stats like this it show your statistics in the chat and in the top I don't play a lot or maybe oh did I reload the game and I forgot to load it no there's plenty of scores just I don't play often because I let you play Okay, so what's the preference and text for defining an enum in JavaScript? Object freeze. All right. Oh, 
it's with the this method. Hey, thank you for following Pavitar95. Pavitar? Pavitar, yeah. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Can you hear the music, Cloudies? In the chat, let me know. Oh, and there's one thing I didn't ask. I didn't ask that, usually I do that. So, I'm from Canada, east of Canada. Uh, so, uh, where are you coming from? I always like to know where people are coming from. It's cool. I think it's, you know, since it's global, it's always fun to see where people are listening. It's very interesting. So, share in the chat if you want. No obligation. Where are you coming from? Could be the country and the, the, the city, maybe, or the closest city. Okay, so Michael says, okay, I think your issue is scope. Ha ha ha. I had to look the code in your repo. <laughs> You're trying to reference an enum which it's in config command. Oh, okay. So right now you have an enum defined as sun enum, but it's case sensitive. So we went. Okay, let's change that, sir. Let's change that. No, I put it outside. Uh huh. But see here, like, I think this should do. Object freeze. I'm not sure what's freeze mean, but. Like that. So I did remove this, yes. So here. So import, and now I should do this. Or was it as or something like that? Like in the import, it was import as. Import user from and you think the it will be better with the column instead of the equal? Oh, change the color of the things. And now I think I need oh, it needs to be also, yeah, I'm building some kind of a uh... That start to look like a JSON object here. Oh, you're totally right. So even I know I put the, everything, it's just I prefer the... Um, it 
Yeah, and here, like, I imported... Yeah, it was there. Okay, so let's go back with the column. So now if I'm here, But I so export a constant and now it's an object. So that's why I'm doing yeah, bonjour, bad feeling. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it's true. I never Should I do object freeze then after? in for in port but now I don't need that because I, I it's not a class that I did it's a constant so I just need to find a reference so do I just need to do the object freeze and then pass my uh, my thing I didn't check so 
Yeah, but the point is to have it so it's easier to code though. The point was to have it in the uh, IntelliSense. But you're right, let's, let's see if we progress here. So now if I do bad, Expecting, like, see, I have an expected token export here. Unexpected token in CloudBot line 28. So here, should I put something like this at the end? If you use export on them, it's fine. You can remove the export now. Could version of JavaScript be an issue? I don't know. Cannot use import statement outside the module. So now it doesn't like our import. So if I do that, now if I do bad, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so it's working. But now do I have the antidescence? Nope. Well, at least it's a little bit cleaner, but uh, yeah, it's a bit sad though. And if I use this, I don't know what object freeze is though. Well, yeah, I was really low, hoping that it, that it helped. Okay, so this, and now CloudBot need to when it's party. See it here. Yeah, so here you see it. See it. It's working. Use sounding them like array.
Yeah, but I want to also using it in the the cloud. But uh, Michael, is it just for to see what happens, or like you want to validate that it's the uh, so like if I was using it, let's say I want to use it here. So if I do uh, sound in m dot, I have the yay here. So the inum is not following. So it could be the inum the problem. But it sees the cloud the class here. So if I do sound cc sound in m dot and oh I see yay. Alright. But I don't see bad feeling is there too it's just strange like it's uh okay it's kind of there thank you for the following ali ali hash me my maybe i'm buttering your name i'm sorry i'm reading it with my friend french mindset whoops boom boom Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you here. Having fun. Don't hesitate to try the the drop game. You got it. Cool. Ali Ashmi. Cool. You can play the game if you want by doing a drop exclamation point drop, and you can add an emote if you want to be that emote and be parachute in the game and just drop and try to land on the target that will be displayed uh okay okay well you know i don't want to try to debug some intelligence issues i'm thinking when you write something in vs code something that value it had that to the intelligence for that file. So the very act of referencing it once may add it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so I never, I never, uh, what's the third one, right? I had three sounds. So bonjour, hi, was it there? Because now like if I wanna stop using the other one, I could, here do uh sound in him dud bonjour bad feeling is there oh yeah you're right so just because i call them they're not really there Yeah, yeah, that that tower. Okay, well, let's add right away the uh, bonjour hi, so we can uh, bonjour hi. No, it was just bonjour, right? Yeah. I don't like it because now I need every time to go and check how did I spell it. So now I could stop the other bot and we'll have all those things. Though I think the no, I think it will. I think I will be fine. So here now I could do save. I could do here a refresh. Right? Refresh, done, boom, and do a load again. Load again. Load again. I'm not Michael Jolie, I shouldn't I shouldn't be singing. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay, so we have that. So we have sounds. God, it's, it's, it's cool. We have sounds now. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, let's change our stuff here in our board. So sounds, check. It's in VNEX now. Boom. Boom, bada boom. That's cool. And uh, yeah. Michael, yeah, Michael Jolie is awesome at singing. Yesterday, what, what was the, oh, no, I don't want to think too much about it, but yesterday I kept singing something, uh, sugar watermelon or sugar, I forgot. And I, I don't even know that song. I think I pick it up because my daughter was there for a few minutes uh, slash, well, she was there for uh, longer, but uh, we were both in the kind of open space uh, kitchen area and she was watching um, TikTok and I think it was a sounds there so sugar watermelon or my, I forgot and I got it stuck in my mind for the full day and I was singing that and I don't know that sound that song <laughs> and I just sugar watermelon like all the time I was like I don't even know that song but it got stuck in my mind and of course, it's never like a, you know, you cannot sing it, you cannot, I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so, um, we have that, so we could, we could definitely push. I didn't work on the, uh, we could, we could try to squeeze something else. Helpful Stranger 999. I like that name. I like that name. It's a cool name. Without number was already taken. Or you wanted 999. At least it's. Uh, you should have taken 666. Or maybe it was also taken. Already taken. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, watermelon sugar high. Okay, I will Google it so at least I will know a little bit longer of that song because I think it was just watermelon sugar high, and I don't know. She was scrolling, so like you know, you catch just part of it, and it was a TikTok anyway. I think she was on TikTok. She was maybe on something else, but you know, it was a bunch of little things. I'm assuming it was TikTok. Uh, so yeah, so we could push that uh, what should we do and then can I squeeze something else in it um, we could try to define a little bit more. we could try to make the toaster a little bit bigger is it is it small for you if someone do stats like let's say do stats and my screen is crazy small like because I have just like portion of it that reflect so I, I cannot even read it and when I was looking my stream full screen I think it's kind of small I think I would have like I think it could be as big as the a chat box you know like right now you see like the stats in the bottom of over there so we could make it bigger so we could look and change the the CSS of that Could we? We will need to override some stuff. Or, or, because after that, now that we have that, I will be next time, I won't need the, oh, we can try it right away. Let's let's kill the bot. Boom. And now, if we do. Bonjour. Hi. It's working. Yes. So I could do 
even uh, CB could show up in the screen and, and wave. Uh, oh, yeah, that's cool. We could do a bunch of stuff now. Right, because now we could do also like, a, let's say play, do the command cloud or show cloud, well, what was it? It's, I think it's just cloud thumbs up. So now if I do, Okay, so show that, and if I do... Bonjour! Hi! Oh, I didn't refresh. Yeah, I need to refresh. And I think thumbs up is not the best one. I should do one that waves. Also. Let's add some stuff. Okay, so cards. Um, Is it something you would like to uh, help me, Cloudies, with? If I put like the pieces of a uh, CB in the in the GitHub, would you go there and spend the time creating your own stuff, or not really? Like I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm just wondering. Like maybe someone in like in in you maybe less code, more like graphic design ish animator. Um. So we need some uh, animated GIF of the cloud butt mascot doing some action so let's say dance whoops let's say uh, greetings let's say thumbs up Thumbs up. J question. Attention. Any suggestion? Like us create some static content such as images. Yeah. Like static or animated, if you want. Like whatever you want to display. Uh, I need sound suggestion too. Uh, I think like this will be good. Uh, okay. And let's add another one here. Um, let's do this one. Uh, label. This one is a question. I don't have a question here, right? Our feedback, yeah, question. I didn't put feedback here. Um, let's do this, manage label, create new label. Feedback, and I want that yellow, invalid. I don't, I don't need invalid. And I need to re-add again. feedback so cloud but
Talbot can play sound. What would you like? Add it in the comment. Cool. That's nice. Oh, can I pin from here? Cannot pin from here. Let's go there. Issues. We'll pin it. Feedback question. Where is it? Pin. Boom. I think it would be cool to have as an option, but uh, you definitely don't. <laughs> Well, you know, like, you could definitely provide some MP3. All right. Hey, one only Seamer, Seamer, welcome to the stream. I will add you to the file. The new followers, we have a lot of followers today, that's cool. That's cool, I will, I will reach uh, 500 eventually. Oh. Yeah, pretty soon I'm at uh, 494. What should I do when I get to uh, 500? All right. <laughs> I should, should have to say anything, right? Thank you for the following, Lobo S S S L. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Cloudies. So where are you from? Where do you live? I'm in Canada. I'm in East Canada, the French part of Canada. Nobody told me today, right? I asked, but uh, everybody was super shy. That's fine. That's fine. Um... So we have all that, and here in the node generator, did I have a little bit more details? So I want a new follower, new subscriber, cheers. Okay, so next stream I think we'll, we'll be really focusing on that, like kind of the... Uh, I want the cloud bot to generate that file for me. And then we'll be able to try to maybe do a push to GitHub. Uh, that could be interesting. No, I don't want that. Candles are not my thing. Even when they smell good, I don't really like that. Oh, for when you reach 500? No, like... <laughs> oh, should I? If I reach 500, I sent another fart candle to Michael Jolie. <laughs> he's my uh, moderator. He's never showing up or he's banning people. I still love him though. <laughs> like him? I love the guy. It's cool. He's a, he's a nice guy. I love it. Uh, okay, well, I think it will be that's it for today. I think I'm, I'm. My head is buzzing right now, telling me I should eat something. So let's let's see who's who's streaming. Do you know who's streaming right now? Uh, live coders, Twitch. And for idea. Uh, being but. Learning Go and JSON, JSON into HTML. That could be cool. Hey, go back to sleep. Oh, you need to go back to sleep. Copper Birdie, oh, you stream? Oh, definitely. You know what? Let's go. Let's go see Copper Birdie. This has been forever. 
It's been forever that I saw my buddy. We'll do that. Where is... Let's do this. Raid Mr. Copper Birdie. Boom. I should play the credits. Am I... Okay, muted, excellent. Where is it? Where is it? I want, I want a new page. New page, boom, and then credits. Welcome, so, welcome, welcome everybody, let's start again. No, 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 <laughs> it's finished. Wrap up time, Frank, Why wrap up time. Thank you all for being there today. It's really, really appreciated. It was fun, at least I had a lot of fun, I learned. We learned JavaScript, it was much easier than I thought playing sounds. The CloudBot is making big improvements, so I think uh, it will be very interesting. And I, I'm pretty sure next stream I will reach 500, so I think you want to be there because oh, I need to do something. I have a bunch of swag, so maybe I will give away some uh, t-shirts and stickers from Get Kraken. I'm sure they will be happy if I do that anyway. Um, uh, so yeah, so and we'll go raid Mr. Copper Birdie. Give him some love. He was tweeting earlier today that he felt uh, like lower in energy. So let's boost that guy. Have a good weekend and bye bye. And that's it. Bye.